Ethereum, Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market takes a little bit of a hit today after Elon Musk says that he's going to sell or has sold his cryptocurrency. What does that mean for Ethereum? Where are we likely to see the drop to in the coming days before we see any more push towards the upside? Is that short bit of bull run over for Ethereum? Are we going to see Ethereum, Bitcoin and the rest start to plummet further? Things looking a little bit ominous right now in the Ethereum chart. This is a four hours, guys. We did say the last couple of days that if we were getting up into these sort of area or into this zone marked by this pink box here, that we would be likely to see some sort of sell off coming in. We had come some kind of like a rising uh, wedge pattern here. And you can see that we have broken through that. Right now, though, guys, we are sort of finding a little bit of support in this area here. You know, previously we did find support there on the way up before. I don't think it's really gonna hold though. What we're really doing is coming back, retesting the bottom of this pattern here. And I think what we're likely to see is further push towards the downside. But where is it really likely gonna stop? Is this likely gonna hold for Ethereum? Where further down can we see Ethereum taking a hit? Guys, as I've mentioned in the last video we had, uh, this consolidation pattern th through here, which broke out really nicely. But what it's got to do, and it still hasn't done, is come back to retest this. Now, if it's going to come back and have a retest of this area, then things are looking really pretty exciting for the Ethereum price. And actually, what is happening right now is very, very good for the Ethereum price. Because this, up to this, was around 67%. It might not have felt that much because we are only going back towards sort of levels that we've seen not that long ago but actually it's been hell of a push towards the upside and we are starting to look like we're going to need some cool off time so i think a push to this pink box area will look pretty good for ethereum if we're unable to hold there then we're coming down at least to this green area who knows exactly what's on the horizon a lot of people have been asking me about the merger what that really means for ethereum lots of excitement now the way it kind of works when you see things happening in the markets. Now when you get this kind of like information or something that's due to happen, for example, the upgrade is due to take place in September. Now that will get factored into the price. So you could well see Ethereum start to build in value towards that period of time. But what will then happen around that period of time? Sometimes people tend to sell the news. So instead of the day of the launch of the particular thing that's supposed to boost the price, you could well see the price heading in another direction. That's because it's already been factored in. Only do we see those big movements, dumps or pumps when something happens that's kind of unexpected that no one had really previously factored in. For example, the first time Elon Musk said that he was gonna buy Bitcoin, we saw it absolutely rocket because he's never really kind of talked about it before. And then on the flip side of things, he makes a negative comment that makes people think he's gonna sell it and then it drops even further. Weirdly, we've seen a little bit of a drop today from him actually selling off some Bitcoin, but it's not really had that drastic an effect, which is very interesting to see. It shows that the market down at these levels is much less volatile, much less susceptible to this kind of news, fear, all this doubt, etc. And you've got to wonder why that is. If we were to zoom out to a weekly, what these kind of charts represent, especially in crypto, this is on a weekly chart, is sort of who is involved at these levels, right? This area up here, the people who are involved at these levels, obviously you and I, and all the other kind of people who are sort of in there right now, plus all the other people who perhaps couldn't necessarily afford to be in crypto and had no real interest in crypto, were just kind of getting in on all the hype, all the excitement. They would have been hard burned long ago, they would have jumped out first, and then you get more and more people jumping off until you get to a point down here where you're left with the kind of like the hardcore, okay? The people who are gonna like hold forever, people who are now holding and starting to accumulate more, people who do the research, people who understand what's going on are starting to buy in down at these bottom levels. So when you get this news that sounds like pretty disastrous, like Elon Musk selling off his Bitcoin, we don't really see much of a movement because actually people don't really react to that news much down at these levels because they're not really bothered by the sort of the shorter term moves one way or another. So that's probably why we're seeing that from Ethereum. Now one thing I wanted to draw through here, which I did talk about before, and it's actually quite key, we had kind of like a level of support through here, and obviously we came back and we broke down through it, but what we've managed to do now is break back into it, which is obviously pretty positive. 
uh, and notice how it would coincide if I was to jump out to the four hour with our pink box that we've been talking about right now. You can see guys, perhaps a little bit of a sell off. We could see the pink box, let's say a bit of an extension over towards these levels. I think we could realistically be seeing something like this starting to unfold uh, before we are able to push out of it, which would bring us into kind of like the earlier weeks of August where we may be sitting down lower, probably taking off about 14, 15%. But I think what we're gonna see, if we're able to hold this level, we're able to hold this box as well. You see technical analysis linking up nicely with these supply and demand zones. That's when trades are usually pretty juicy, pretty good to take. I think we're gonna see a bit of a drop like this. I think we're then gonna push into this zone up here. Uh, and actually this time, on the second time of asking, I think is when we will break beyond that zone and then we're gonna have to see exactly what plays out there. But actually, I think that would then take us nicely into September where we're gonna obviously be ready to see the news about the merger. I don't see during the time of the launch itself being when the money is made, but more kind of like longer down the line. It kind of represents good things. It's gonna improve the network and a number of other things going along with it, which obviously a lot of people are anticipating. There's a lot of news and hype about it. There's a lot of fun. I've noticed today as well, for the first time in a very long time, we're starting to see positive news starting to flood into the markets. This is gonna to start to encourage people to buy. Potentially that can always be a little bit of a worry because sometimes the news is used to kind of manipulate people into positions that they probably don't necessarily need to be in. I think so in terms of accumulating, I'm waiting for a bit of a pullback. And if I get my pullback and I see some nice wicks towards the downside, then I'm looking to jump in again to Ethereum to start loading up more. I'm going to speculate on prices that I foresee happening later down into the end of the year. It's very difficult to know, guys. It's pretty speculation, not really to do with technical analysis or anything like that. So it's not really something that I am really into doing. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I know the lighting sucks. I'm stuck in a hotel room that wasn't kind of set up for YouTube, who'd have thought. So if you enjoyed it anyway, guys, smash the like button. It helps me out more than you know. And if you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about Ethereum, uh, and I'm going to do a Solana video probably tomorrow, uh, then subscribe to be kept to date with the latest happening. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon with another video.